believe what we talked about this week on the Sunday Shampoo. The Sunday Shampoo <laughs> episode three. Who knows? Three. What is this? Three? <laughs> is it Trace? Trace? Yeah, it's three. three. Episode three. Wow. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're excited to be here with you today. And yeah, what's going on with everyone? What's up, Sammy? Not too much. Been missing the salon a lot. My foot, you know, is still healing. You started so. physical therapy. Yeah, I started physical therapy, and that makes me cry almost every time. It's very embarrassing. I usually I cry every day. There, so. So. Yeah, that's nothing new. Yeah, that's what's new with me. I think um, your boot's too big for your uh, my, yeah, foot. It's like way my big. Bo- yes, I, I mean, I don't know anything. <laughs> I've been having a lot like of issues with um, my nurses. They don't like me very much, um, and I don't know if I like them. But that's okay. <laughs> anyway, so it's okay. fine. We get along. <laughs> That's good. Okay. With that being said, I'm super excited to get back into the la- into this line, um, doing like front desk work and just Easy getting back in. into the you know the move of things. That's mm-hmm. super exciting to look forward to, and I love it. We're yeah. excited to have you back, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. Sammy, I miss you guys. Even, we gotta even the, the schedule for front desk. With yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying my in. hardest. <laughs> Spring break, people are busy. Um, That's right. Everybody's busy. Yeah. yeah. What's up me. with K Money? What's up? What up? We missed you last. Yeah, episode. I missed y'all last last episode. What um, do you got going down? I was in the shy. Huh? last episode, Chicago. <laughs> 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 what were you doing there? I, like, I thought you were in Chicago. What's the shy? <laughs> the shy Shy town. Shy oh. town. Um, what did you do? Went to a Bulls game. Saw Tristan Thompson. He had just transferred wow. over to the Bulls. Yeah. Yeah, he's um, my favorite. Mm-hmm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. Um, my best friend lives in the Shy, so um, just hung out there. She's great. Yeah. So now you should have went for St. Patty's Day. I know. I, we did that we that one year. Yeah, they that we went for that, that hair uh, show. So River Green and all that yep. stuff. And I uh, got. Remember, was that the year that uh, <laughs> we went to? The that club El Jefe, El Jefe. Oh. That's where I met my ex boyfriend. <laughs> you met the ex boyfriend, <laughs> but the coolest part for me is I hung out with the Chicago Blackhawks. Yes, you did. You're like I'm with them. I'm with them. <laughs> there was literally, <laughs> but the, they did. They took you under their wing. Yeah, there was a VIP uh, table, and all these guys <laughs> were there. And they were so cool. Too. They again back to like my story previously. How I get in, like I intrigued. Is that the word? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. yeah. So I get intrigued. So right away, any situation I'm at, I always look for, I guess, the coolest people. So there's these group of guys, and, uh, like, they had black eyes, like they had been fighting. Oh, yeah, they were fucked up. But I kept piecing things together, <laughs> and they were Chicago Blackhawk players. Mm-hmm. The coolest part, though, there was, like, 50 supermodels with them. Yep. Yeah. Sounds awful. Oh, and they yeah. had bottle service, so all free drinks. <laughs> so I literally just stood by them uh-huh. all night long and acted like yeah. I was with them. Yeah. They totally no one ever said anything no. to me. They just no. let me do it, and it was quite the experience. Yeah. I'm glad you guys had a good time because oh I was. Wasn't that when you got a <laughs> yes. I was in the hotel room crying. <laughs> what, what happened to Carrie? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, we went to the hair show that day. Yeah. And what hair show is that? Who, who's I think it was. We IBS. went to the no, Midwest a, Midwest America's Beauty Show, the big yeah. show. Yeah. 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 ABS ABS were you a model? Not good I was a m- problem. Uh, so. Whose stage did we walk by, Joshua? Well, okay, so. <laughs> again, I always seek out really cool people, and sometimes it doesn't end up being so cool. It wasn't that cool. But no, there was uh, uh, one of my mentors there, and uh, this older hairdresser who's, I mean, just huge in, in, in our business. And so I begged. And the number one rule at a hair show is you never – Go on stage and let anyone cut your hair. Just don't oh, yeah. do it. So right away, I said, Carrie, you should let that guy cut your hair on stage. <laughs> Obviously, this like, is Like, her I hair was already it. short, okay. so it's like, well, you just how got a haircut. bad can it be? You had a, she had a pixie at the time. I did have a pixie. So, like, uh, how so bad I did. Can it really I got, be? I, yeah, he well. called me up to the stage and I. Be, willingly sure went. What? I willingly went up to the stage and, like, and sat oh, down, and he uh-huh. talked to me and he did this with my face. And hair is just and like hair, <laughs> and then all of a sudden <laughs> hair is just <laughs> flying. It was so bad. Keep in mind, my hair was already fucking short, <laughs> so <laughs> the hair, the pieces, the chunks, I could see them falling to the ground, and yep. So uh, 
so tears Carrie set in, and I didn't go out. That night, she was, actually, I, she was that bad. It was I bad. fucking oh, yeah. hid and cried bad. all night in the hotel room. Maybe we'll post a picture. Maybe we when won't. We, uh, well, she's grown this it out ever since. Look at her now. So, I mean, it's PTSD. Yeah, I think we'll post a picture once I don't, this goes live. So stay grant, tuned for that. This is the story about why Carrie doesn't want you to ever cut her hair. Okay. This is that. This is that story. Oh, yeah. Besides, this morning on the way to the gym, I actually found a new haircut for Carrie. Oh yeah. Because oh, okay. we have a special guest coming to visit, uh, Valor and Violet. Uh, that I think he did this haircut, and I think that Carrie should do. It. I'll share it all with you. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, pretty sure dope. Yeah. yeah. We got Sarah. What's up with Sarah? Mm. Yes. So, uh, what do we have now? What's uh, going on? Mm-hmm. And so, uh, at the salon, and I uh, spent just many hours putting product out, and then at our anchor location, uh, we had to move a lot of stuff around to make it fit, and so there was a lot of so logistically in uh, small business, uh, which we you know our our salons are considered small business. When you make a change, um, when you make a change, like we made a, a product change, we got rid of one product, uh, one company, and we added in a new company, it logistically kind of becomes a nightmare. We're very fortunate, though, that <coughs> we've done that. We don't do it a lot, no. but we've done it. And, but when uh, it does happen, it just, yeah. I mean, I just know that it's going to take an entire day or two of my life. Yeah. And uh, it it's we do have a great uh, rep too from our yeah so from our company. so yep our our um our sales rep for this particular brand and uh, the company Beautycraft mm-hmm. they treat us very 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 well and then two I, I we can bring up we brought on a new product line called IGK at uh, Valor and Violet Salon we love it which yeah. Uh, yeah, we're over the moon yeah, it's really cool it. yeah, yeah you're gonna love Super it cool. what's up Chase. <laughs> yeah, you know you're gonna be on here. Josh is in love and then with I was you. talking about Joel, uh, who's one of their other artists uh, cutting Carrie's hair. Sometime he's gonna be coming to our shop in April. Dope. Wait, so, really? Yeah. Whoa. Well, yeah. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Thought, I mean, this week has been crazy as far as um, that goes, and then figuring out education and doing all kinds of other. Mm-hmm. We appreciate all you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's up with Gert? Not much. It's just been really so busy at work lately. Like we're just running around because. Um, everyone wants to be blonde right now. It'd be great yeah. to have an assistant. Yeah, that'd be nice. Huh. Um, she'd, she'd, be nice. she'd rather have a broken leg anyway. Yeah. I'd rather be at work. I fucking feel like she did it on purpose. Right, she's, she's like, ooh. Guys, no, like, absolutely. She's, yeah, Ab- it's I'm time. Yeah. But absolutely fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Grant's yeah. just ready to go on his cruise. Oh, yeah, I'm going on vacay next Sunday, and I'm very excited. They dropped which location? You're going to uh, be Cayman going? Cayman Islands. But oh, we're still okay. going to the Bahamas and oh. Jamaica, so I'll be oh. great. And who are you You'll going with? Uh, my roommates. So I'm going with my brother and um, my roommates, Gabe and Sam. And Gabe is our videographer. So. Mm-hmm. Did you know that there used to be a really, really amazing restaurant in Des Moines, Iowa called Sam and Sam Gabe's? Sam and Gabe's. Really? That was the it was bomb. so good. Wait, what good. happened? Oh, I don't, I don't it was know. It was kind of like so. a steakhouse, steakhouse, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a yeah. Italian steakhouse. It was, a, yeah, Italian oh, steakhouse. Yeah. You know it was like so Italian. good. And then I actually had an audition for a local theater musical. Hmm. We're doing Sound of Music in Story City, Iowa. When so is that? Local, June? It's the first weekend in June. Okay. So I'll find out today what happens. So You I'm find really out what role well, you you'll, should be if promoting any. that until you're accepted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better make sure you're making you fucking sweat <laughs> mopper. Maybe like, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 But it should be fun. Cool. But. Well, I guess we'll I'm excited yeah. for you. So yeah. many It'll be fun. neat things coming. I'll make everyone come. We do have a new person. I guess we can talk about her now. Her so name's Gibby. She is a front desk girl, and she's going to beauty school right now. And she is actually going to be our assistant come October. 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 Yeah, yeah, so she's actually killing it in school. All her Trying. work looks really good, and she's yeah, she's really she gets along with us very well, which sometimes can be she hard for that. people because yeah. we're. Can I touch oh, uh, that's a subject? Yes. What happened to Quick Story? I just, and then I'm, we're going to hand it right to Gibby. Okay. But Valor and Violet, the Sunday shampoo, 
the most important thing to me, I don't know about you guys, is that you fucking fit in. When you tell someone that they don't fucking fit in, oh, I know that's where this is going. Why <laughs> not even fit in? Just a mesh. Like yeah. we just, Sorry, we just God. have a. She just oopsied me. I know, but it was good. <laughs> but you needed it. Everyone oops you. I was helping out. It's not even a fit in. It's just a mesh. Like we have to be able to. What? Vibe. It's the a most vibe. important kind of thing vibe. when we've built this all together. When we use words like team and what we are, but the most important thing is if you fit, if you fit in. If you don't, you don't. If you don't fit in, you don't fit in. There isn't no hard feelings. And I believe that that is a reliable, reliable excuse and not an excuse. It's a, that's the way it is. It's a legitimate reason to say goodbye to someone who isn't a good fit. fit. Because that is the most important part. We can teach hair technique. We can teach how to retail. Yeah. We can teach everything. We can't, we can't teach make a personality, you who you are. But we cannot teach a personality. And if, you, and if we don't all mesh and we're not all on the same page, as the very first episode, I talked about relationships and everything else. If it isn't fine, it isn't fine. Yeah. Time is very, very short. And no one wants to waste anyone's time. Yeah. And, and sometimes I know it's hard for the other person to see, you know, but... In the long run, you're doing people favors. And you're doing yourself, you're doing yourself a favor a for favor. sure, yeah, right? Yeah, 100%. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you for but that. But Gibby fits in. So well. Well, she gets our sh- sh- Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, that was one of my things when I started working. I just was kind of like, no offense, kind of intimidated <clears throat> because you all have We've such never bold, heard that before. But you all have such bold personalities. So it's, it's like one of those things, mean? like, you want to fit in, you know? Yeah. Give me slide up into that mic a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Well, I'm here. All right. I just want to make sure that we all hear you. Yeah. No. So I'm really glad that you guys all kind of embraced me in that. And honestly, it makes me feel like I did find my salon already. And I'm not even done with school. And that's yeah. not something everyone finds right away. Mm-hmm. And that's really awesome that I got to embrace that. So happy to be here. Thanks for having Gibby, me. When did you start? I started in August. Yeah. Gibby's real name is also Abby. I was yeah, just my real name's ask Abby. Um, Gibby, she goes by got Gibby. that nickname in high school. For license no, places. Yeah, my Gibby, license Gibby, Phoebe, like Abby. Whatever you want to call me. So here's Gibby. the real though with me and everyone around here can vouch for that. <laughs> now that I officially know your name. Mm-hmm. Because I don't try to... Rem- I... How do I say this so I don't sound rude and unhumble? It's not... There's no way to say it. It's just going to come out it. that way. So I'm an asshole? Yep. Yeah, that's the proper way. I mean, it's okay though. You only I remember people's I respectfully don't input or I don't remember people's names until it's time to. Yeah. Well, because again, to, my right? energy is my energy is important to me, but I I know your name. Yeah. That means yeah. a yeah. lot. Yeah, that means a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, says so, hi to me now. This is crazy. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> what great. else is Josh um, when you're working the desk, what what sometimes do you get pulled to do? Uh, like my responsibilities um, or on like, top of maybe like, hey, Gibby, come here a minute. yeah. Um, I do help with blow drying, curling, mm-hmm. shampooing, whatever I'm needed to do. Uh, yeah, honestly, I mean, I like it though. It's fun. <laughs> I just do the dirty work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in addition to the front desk. Yeah. yeah wow. Well, you just handle yeah. shit for real. Oh like yeah. No, day, I, like running, like yeah, I just like move stuff around. I try to make it easy for you guys, you know, because you we have been we busy. Like like yeah, yeah. And it's like, it. it's like been so busy it. and I just, it's I understand. I wouldn't want that on me. So I'm like, psh, might as well fix it for them. How long help have them. you worked? Uh, for Valor and Bio right Since August as well. She just did that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you? <laughs> you asked. Like right when I started school I is when I started working <laughs> yeah. because it was kind of like a coincide thing. I was specifically hiring people that were not in sorority. And you're like, yeah, yeah that's right. but I actually was in a sorority at one point in my life, but, but not, no, anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. She went rogue. She's going yeah. to high school. Yeah. 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 Okay, just one more like. Uh, last quick question how do you already know this this is the home that you want so i mean over all the uh, there's there's 15 salons where we're at right i call it hairdressers row yeah shit's wild it is but why valor and violet so i guess when i started working i just immediately felt like you guys were people that 
I would want to hang around, like outside of work and school and all that stuff. And so the more I got to know your personalities, the more I saw, I was like, I don't have to like try and be some random ass person, like to try and fit in here. Like I can kind of just be myself and let myself like do whatever I want. And you guys are going to embrace that and help me become like a successful stylist when I'm out of school and you want to help me succeed. And like, that's something I really appreciated too. And I'm sure Sam, you could give her advice on that. Right. And, and mm-hmm. that's what we do. And it's not always, and I, and again, I think, uh, and grant, all of us can kind of speak to this actually, cause we've all been in it at different times. It's not always going to be completely smooth, but at the end of the day, we have all everyone's best interest in mind yeah. as you guys do mine. And that's why, again, when we go back to fitting in, either you fit in or you don't. Yeah. And that's it. it. Works I owe you no explanation. No. Right? It's no one knows not necessarily anyone's fault. It's just how frequencies and vibrations work. Yeah. Okay. So how about we do this then? Uh, nice to meet you. I'm sure you'll be around more on the Sunday Shampoo. I sure hope so. Cool. Thanks for letting me join. Why don't we go into the hot shit, Grant? All righty. So, so today we're going to talk some something a little fun. We're doing salon horror stories. Ooh. So that could that's kind of like things that have gone wrong all around. Crazy people, <laughs> us being crazy, like whatever it is. And I feel like this might be a recurring topic that happens here because our lives are a little crack. Can't crying. make this shit up. Who, um, okay, who thinks they have the, and I don't care if it's not your story, but who here thinks they have the most wild fucking story that's mm, happened to I, them I think there's some, around there's us. probably like top three that we all can think there's of right now. What, it's what's, just what's, I honestly what's, think. What do you think, Cindy? I personally think with Grant and I, there was a time where we, sorry, where we were Grant. You know, I'm I'm assisting, and he like comes up to me like, "Hey, I need your help," <laughs> and I'm like, uh, "Okay," like <laughs> thinking, "Oh, it's gonna be smooth." You know, Grant's very well at talking through things with me. You know, no, um, Grant's for you know he's double booked. I'm just looking <laughs> through the foils. He's like, "Check those," and I and then I start um, seeing some some type of chemical reaction happening, and so I call Grant over and I just try to keep him. Um, you know, like, what do we do? You know, I was really confused. Everything was it fine, smoking? But what do I do? Um, yes. steaming, yes. yes. <laughs> like, yes. let's, like, 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 I could put this in tail, like, if someone was smoking a vape and yeah. they were going uh-huh. through their foils and you're opening the foils and, and you're like, like oh, hot. my God. So, like, what happened was uh, <laughs> she can take over lived me. in a um, middle of nowhere um, she was so born she, in a barn like you. Essentially, yes. Yeah. So you can relate. So she had a lot of um, well water where she lived on her mm-hmm. hair. And she had blonde hair one at one point. And gradually she kept noticing it getting darker and darker, more of an orangish, brassy. Like, it was orange. And we're like, okay, we're going to go back to blonde. I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. Right. See how light we can get it. I had just finished, like... Applying. Applying everything. I noticed it was slightly warm. Like, it wasn't too, like, crazy warm yet. And I was like, okay, I'll just keep an eye on it. Well, what developer did you use for the people that know what that is? It was, like, 20 20 to 30. Like, it wasn't super crazy. Which should be safe. Which should be safe. I'm almost positive it was 20. Yeah, I went super conservative. Like, I was like, we're not going to, whatever. Because it had already been lightened. So I was like, I don't want to push it. So she had, like, it, like, was depositing, like, copper mineral water into her hair. So it turned that orange color. So then the bleach mixed with that doesn't end well. Mm. So it starts steaming and getting really hot. And Neat. it was light, it lightened to a level nine within, which is like pretty blonde. Yeah. yeah within Grant. probably like 10 minutes. Wow. That's not a good thing. No. no. So but then, Grant fixed yeah. that so quickly. And <laughs> like, but I was seriously freaking out. Like, Grant, what are we going to do? So then I, so I also had another client that I was foiling and I was like, well, um, so I was like, okay, because the top was fine still. Like, it was mostly the back. I was like, okay, we're going to rinse the back and the sides because they were fully processed already. So then we're like, okay, we'll just wait. We'll just keep – I was like, just keep an eye on it and keep watching. When it starts to get really hot or starts really warm, rinse it off. So we got it. It was lighter than it was. Like, it was fine. It wasn't what she wanted, of course, because that's not going to happen. No. So then while that was – when I was finally done light enough, I was like halfway through my foil. 
I called her Silas Madeline. I was like, because she had like a free moment. I was like, can you foil for me? Just yeah. like keep going. So then I toned her with as best I could. And I wasn't even like, like it was just like, oh, wow. It was just kind of crazy. Bingo, yeah. save there the day. Lo- there was yeah. lots of different teamwork. things, like lots of different toners yeah. and sections we had to go through to figure out how to blend it all. I think I had like three just or four different the, toners like, in there. Rust in the well water that was yes. sitting on our hair and... So yeah. We, yeah, chemical reactions yeah. can Did happen. You know We're before? here to tell you. No. no, it was my first time with That's this client. That's what's always so fucking tricky. So we've all been through chemical yes. reactions. So right? Kristen also has a little yeah. well, I, story. It's the exact same thing. Exact yeah. same thing. Right? I mean, bullsh- and that's the thing, right? People so you get talk about abrasion. Salon stories yeah. like. Everyone does it. Every salon, you yeah. don't know it. Doesn't people matter. lie. People but don't again, know. But again, it becomes people... your problem for the yeah. bad mm-hmm. Google review. It's bullshit. But the right? girl, my girl, was actually very understanding. She was like, "I get it," and I was like, That's "Here are nice. some options you can do." So if you guys do have well water, she got a nice one. That's you right. could do like a. She's very um, sweet. You can get like a filter for your shower to kind of filter mm-hmm. out some of those harsh chemicals. And using like a detoxing shampoo, like we just got one from IGK. That's really nice. Um, It's a charcoal, like kind of like charcoal toothpaste. It's very clarifying and it'll clean your hair super well and kind of prevent some of those things from happening. Okay, here's one for you guys. Just popped in my head. Who was the one lady that kept calling us a woman, call her back, and and her friend showed up? And come and hung out by the chair. What was that about? Oh, um, you know who it is. Yeah, yeah. but what yeah. was it? How did because it first? We call, so this person had the oh, same name as someone else. This is the front desk oh, thing. Yeah. That was my. Yeah. That was my problem. Who took that phone call? I don't. No, initial, she doesn't it work there anymore. That you? No. No, but don't you know it. Were we just talking I don't about think, that? Yeah. I don't think that that yes, person that, person that took the phone call. Okay. Front desk. So here's, and you guys can correct me. I I can stand corrected. A woman got called. Because it was a mix-up on names. names. They have the same, same names. Because same we name. were waiting on a deposit to pay for hair extensions because that's how we do it at our company. The woman that I called literally freaked out and went psycho because it's just her personality. Yes. I don't know money. I don't know money. I, I think she was I think she was probably confused, but it's not we that big were. of a deal. Correct. Yes. So she called back multiple times. I think there was a little frustration between her and the front desk. Yeah. Yeah. So it escalated. And then the woman even came into the shop yeah. and at that point wanted to talk to owners. But I was the only one there. Kristen K. Money was the only one there. The first time she came into this. The, the, the first time. Yeah. yeah. And she's trying to explain it. And it was my client that we were trying to get a hold of to make the deposit. And so I was like, oh, no, 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 like, that's not you. We were trying to contact so-and-so's mom. Um, it's just a big mis- misunderstanding. She said, well, all I want is an apology from, the, from owner. the owners. And I said, okay, well, I'll I'll let them know you stopped in. You know, is there anything else I can do? I'm really sorry that happened. It was just miscommunication. And and they've um, been a longtime client. Like, it. Yeah, they've gone to Josh for as long as I've been and here. And most people would just let it go long. after that. <laughs> yeah, A little too long. Yeah. But that's the issue. They've been catered, right? And so, Correct. and then was they it? Come to expect yeah. A certain level of and that's service, fine. Which is fine. So okay, moving on. Then the lady, the one, the first lady, the actual lady, never gets contacted by owners, right? No, I called her. And that was manager, good enough, though. Yeah. manager, called which is a called, huge deal. If I managers calling to de-escalate. Yes, to try to calm her down, smooth things over, and she was just very not okay with that. She, she was adamant. Thought, and I asked her, I said, what What do you want us to do for you? We've already apologized. It was a huge misunderstanding. You don't owe money for extensions. We understand that. Like, all You're of You're like, we're things. good. Like, yeah. We are good. We are so very sorry. And all she wanted was for one of the owners to call her and apologize directly to Which, her. Do you guys fucking think that we should have called and apologized okay, and owner should have in that situation? Knowing our personalities... When we're, and this is right or wrong. This is just how it is. When someone demands something. It turns you off. That yeah. we've had our people go out of their way to try to reconcile and are still being demanded to do something probably isn't going to happen. Well, that's my whole job. So that's just a standoff, that's just, too. That's and that's why we have yeah. people in our, at least yeah. It, yeah. in our company, we have people implemented to do certain things. I'm just things. not going to be bullied. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which yeah. Just, that's what it boils Over down to. A, 
a okay. Silly, over a silly mistake. It was nothing. Maybe. This if is she'd been charged. And this is the shit that people deal with for in small business, right. big business, right. tattoo shop. I don't care what it I is. Like, this was not our problem right. at well, all. Didn't next, uh, she sent her friend no, in to okay. yell at you? Yep. So yeah. then what happened? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> then what happens is a friend of hers comes in and demands. Also a regular client. Demands that we now. I don't. I think we got to double down on the apology. Oh. She just walked, walked straight, straight past. Well, you, you were with a client. We, yep, we, we all were. were. We were with a client. I was standing there, kind of watching this whole thing go down, and eventually I grabbed her. Like I yeah. just put my arm around her, and I was like, hey, let's, "Let's go just up front, to the front yeah. and talk about this and see what." Like know, it was a very busy, busy day. Everyone was, was busy. So busy. And but she was just like. To my I client, my chair, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Punched. I'm trying to hear this. No. <laughs> Dude, yeah, my clients were like, what's happening? I'm like, just watch. Just People are fucking wild. Dude. Yeah. Okay, let's. Speaking what's... of wild, we have to talk about dude that locked himself in the fucking Ooh, bathroom. That was okay. a good that, that'll be the good. That'll be yeah. the last yeah. one. We, yeah. have, <laughs> we have to talk about Okay, how did that go? Okay, who wants to do that one? Okay. Carrie's got this one. Okay, so <laughs> dude comes in. I'm just gonna he's, say he has a certain look. Well, and I, he's and I he's known know around Ames, the the city of Ames. He's got a certain look. With him. Um, and our front desk he's a girl at the time probably uh, was a little non confrontational. Really nice, you know, nice was. girls. Yeah. Non confrontational. Dude comes in, wants to use the facilities. Front desk girl says, "Yes, you sure. may." And points him into the direction of the bathroom. Dude goes in the bathroom. 30 minutes later, Josh is like, where's dude? Where's dude? Dude's in bathroom. Dude's still in bathroom. Josh proceeds to rap on the door a little bit. Hey, dude. You need to get you out You okay in there? Yeah. You need to get out. Um, I feel like it was a little more intense. Than at, well, no, at, not at initially. First, not yeah, initially. No, initially. Oh, and here's were... the other fun part about being one of the door. only guys in, in our <laughs> shop or in the beauty. And, and I think this probably falls a lot on all men in our business. We have to do all the dirty shit because all the girls are like, oh, you go do it. Yeah, you're you telling me. Like, oh, catch so the nice. mice and <laughs> <laughs> grant. <Yep. borderline. laughs> so it, it escalated from there after the polite knocks and are you okay well you even walked away walked away a little bit then the 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 redness in your face began well then you're like i gotta protect my bitches yeah Yeah. then protect then protection mode came in and i was pretty sure the door was gonna come down i thought you were gonna kick the freaking door down so rather than do that rather than kick the door down and beat the shit out of dude we thought we better just call the authorities. Yeah. So the authorities were called. Yeah. Authorities came and it. removed. I feel like dude. dude. I feel like dude came in before once, mm. once before this too. I don't know. I just it scared. Was, it was like on a dude. You know what I was the most afraid of? I didn't care about anything other than if he put shit all over our back. Well, that's, yes. he's been known to do that. Exactly. Exactly. No. The cops came in and they said, I, he's, has I can fight. I can do whatever. <laughs> I could take. I'm not dealing I don't know, with that, I don't care though. what he did in there, but there was poop everywhere. No, he's oh. and he's no, he's been he's he a reputation for doing that. We don't know. We I can't barely pick up my on own it. dog's poop. We yeah. Especially human like, poop. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't care. Take the old iPad. It's the poop. Not the poop. It's the poop on the wall. Poop rubbed everywhere. Sarah would have had to clean it, and then it wouldn't have been good. <laughs> no poop. I just didn't want him to rub poop everywhere. Yeah, no. It was yeah. one of my clients. It was her very first very appointment. First time. She still comes back. Yeah, yeah. she still comes here. Um, and she was like, um, what's going on? I'm like, this is, I, I'm not I sure. Know. It's just a typical day of I'm like, pay no attention. Because Josh was just yelling at the door the whole time. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Oh. So it was really fun. Yeah. Man. So needless to say, uh, it's in, in our salon, it's never a dull moment. So I think to close this out, uh, what we started last time was uh, reading some of our reviews, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, w- I would love to read all the good ones. There's so many. But it's always fun to bring up, I guess, the bad ones, even though <laughs> they're a little more interesting. So that's controversy. Yeah, it keeps us humble. Do you have a good one, Gert? Yes. Here is one. I moved to this college town a couple months ago. The stylist astonished me at how professional 
she, he would. Right I, away, I can tell you she doesn't fit in in our salon. <laughs> <laughs> She's out. <Yeah>. Fine. <laughs> no offense. The stylist taught me how unprofessional he was, even if I did expect any high end service based on the price. And Aveda is just an okay line. In my She's prior nice salon experience, except except this one, I was treated with respect instead of ignorance, with care instead of irresponsibility. I understand different people might have different working styles. You might prefer working on your client's hair while chattering to your coworkers, just like Rick Dur Durrett devoted himself to the probability theory with rock so music. So this bitch is a poet. A novel. What is that? Was she but a what poet? if I left with a look of all my colleagues got embarrassed in scrupulously she can't write either. these are big <laughs> words recommended me to their stylist was, the okay. worst thing is that i had to um lie to them that is from great clips and they said oh it makes sense i don't I even know where to start with that i don't know what the fuck just I happened take that, yeah. we okay so what was the complaint she thought she was coming into a high end salon which she was she did we like to talk to each other when we're we like well, to get everyone we've involved. always said we're barbershop style so we, everyone's we, included and in so she didn't line. fit in okay so when we talk song. about high end right like there's gonna be two different kinds of high end there's rock and roll music mm -hmm. that can be very very high end mm -hmm. there's also jazz music that can be very very high end mm -hmm. there's bars that can be very very cocktail loungy or is those bars that can be really loud and bangy, right? Mm -hmm. There's something different for everyone. Yeah. This person in particular did not fit in with us from the get, and that's where we lost the service. Her opinion is her opinion. She's entitled to that, but she's fucking wrong. I'm not okay? understanding the opinion. It's, it's nothing. She I didn't agree. appreciate um, dumb dumb. not being completely focused, focused on. I think she was like a sweet, like a sweet thing yep, where it's like, you yep, yep. To go to someone who had their own food. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. She wanted walls around, around her. Yeah. She yeah. wanted walls around her. Or those salons her. where they don't, those high-end salons where it's so where they snuffy don't talk in there, to you. they don't talk. Yeah. yeah. Dude, go to them. They're around. No, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. I know a few of them. Yeah. Just ask next time. Yeah. People need to learn to speak up, too. Yeah. I mean, that's very important. And to, well, you know, because everyone wants to do something, then leave. She could have brought, I mean, it's communication and we're all adults. Yeah. And obviously she's a writer, but yeah. she can't talk. I don't, I don't understand any references. Wow. Like, <laughs> okay. So... Okay. I think uh, that's. I think we're good on time. I think we're good on time. Wow, dude, that's Thanks, awesome. Thanks, everyone. Okay, don't forget to wash your hair with us on the next episode of the Sunday Shampoo. You can tune in to the Sunday Shampoo on Spotify, Apple, and YouTube. Oh, but don't forget about Valor and Violet. You can follow us at Valor and Violet on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check us out. We would love to meet you in person, give you some cool hair, and just hang out and talk. Yeah, it has been. Uh, presented by Valor and Violet Salons. Thanks for the support, and go ahead and tune in next time to the Sunday Shampoo. Peace out. Bye.